Hey guys, this is James White with Freaking Reviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews and more. Now today I've got yet another comparison video. I've got three popular seat cushions. I've got the Egg Sitter, which I reviewed a few months ago. I've got a very popular Amazon Gel Enhanced Cushion here, and I've got the ultimate purple cushion. It's gonna be a three-way grudge match to see who wins. Let's get started. All right, let's start with the purple cushion. Let's see how big this thing is. It's pretty big. It's 22 inches by 18 inches by almost three inches. It's a large, very large cushion. Weighs almost eight pounds. Let me see. Faint smell, not like the pillow was. It's just a very, like a new item smell. I wouldn't say it's an offensive odor to it. Uh, I just wonder if it's going to be small enough to even fit on my chair because of the size of this thing. It's, it's massive. I mean, compared to the egg sitter, I mean, the egg sitter, it like just, it, it pales in comparison. Speaking of, let's measure the egg sitter out. All right, this seems, this seems puny in comparison. Let's see what we got here. 16 inches wide, 13 inches deep, and about a little over two inches high. So I've been using this one for quite a few months, so I already have quite a bit of experience with this one to compare it to. This one I think only weighs about maybe two pounds, and uh, it, it never really had a smell that I could recall, although it may have had a kind of a new smell when I first opened it. This is the Comfy Life Gel Enhanced Seat Cushion from Amazon. It's got a really high rating. I think it has 4.5 stars and 2,500 views. It's pretty solid. If we open it up here, you can see it's got foam on the outside and a gel on the inside. It has a cool feeling to it. This is a very light cushion. I think it's under two pounds. A little bit different, but it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the others. I was gonna say there is kind of a smell on the Comfy Life that's not very pleasant. Worse than I'd say the purple cushion. That's not unusual for new products, but let's see how the smell goes over a couple days of use. It's interesting that the egg sitter and the purple seat cushion have very similar covers that come with them. Purple cushion has a contoured groove in the back that supposedly helps your spine. The Comfy Life has a cutout in the back that also supposedly helps your spine. And the gel cushion has a certain angle to it that supposedly also helps your posture and support. So without further ado, let's get to the comparison. Right, let me see a first use of the Comfy Life. Uh, it's pretty firm. I do feel it slowly sink down as I sit on it though. It's definitely firmer than the egg sitter. It has kind of a memory foam feel to it, where it's, it, you sit on it and then it slowly compresses like that. Not bad though. All right, next try the Egg Sitter next, which I've sat on many times before. Okay, it is certainly softer than the Comfy Life to the point where I almost sink all the way down to the bottom. It, it also compresses and then slowly continues to compress after that, but it goes a much farther down. It also has a cooler feeling, even with the case on there, it has a cooler feeling than the Comfy Life does. All right, now for the ultimate purple cushion. It's so big it hangs off the edge of this chair. Oh, it makes a nice, pleasant, strange sound when you sit on it. You can actually hear air being pushed out from the sides. This one I feel like I sink about halfway down and then it seems like the underside seems to catch a little bit more of my weight. So it sinks down partially and then not all the way. Kind of how the bed works. The bed works the same way than that. It's pretty comfortable and I'm kind of aware of that groove in the back also. So that's my first impressions. Let's put it on some chairs and see how they work there. I should point out there are several other types of purple cushions. This is the ultimate, which is one of the most expensive ones they offer. There are less expensive ones, which I did not try for this review. So what I'm gonna do next is me and my kids are each going to take a cushion and use it for a day or two and then rotate them and compare when we're all done. Because a cushion is a very subjective thing, so we might all have different opinions of which one is best. I also want to point out that one of the chairs being used, the one that I'm using, is kind of an old beat up chair, which is definitely a real world situation. That's the kind of chair that you want to use a cushion on, so laugh at my chair if you want, but that's the kind of chair these cushions will be used on a lot, so let's get started. All right, next up is this pathetic looking desk chair. It really isn't that old, it's just this dust coming off of it. It's just kind of cosmetically ugly. 
But let's see if the purple cushion even fits on there. All right, it does fit. It barely fits. It doesn't hang off the front. It barely fits. That's pretty comfortable. And it's not going to slide around because it fills up the entire chair. It might be ridiculously large, but it actually seems to fit pretty well. I might actually enjoy using this. All right, chair number two is going to be using the egg sitter. This is my son's chair. You can see it's significantly smaller than the purple cushion. Here, have a seat. See how, see how it feels. First, that's a, first impression. That's a cushion. Pretty small. Yeah. See, yeah, I have a problem with sliding around, but we'll see how that does for you, and then we'll report back tomorrow, I guess. All right, chair number three. This is a gaming chair that my daughter uses. She's not here right now, but I'm going to put the Comfy Life cushion on there, and when she gets home, she will try it out. So we're each going to take turns on all three of these cushions, and I'll report back in about a week. Okay, I want to show you how the cushions all look with my car seat. Let's check that out. So even though the egg sitter doesn't really fit in my desk chair very well, it does fit in my car pretty well. As you can see here, it doesn't really have room to move side to side. All right, here is the Comfy Life. It also fits in my car. I've tried it in here. I feel like I sit a little bit too high with it. So uh, it does work pretty well, and it does fit on the seat. I don't know if it fits quite as well as the egg sitter, though. But the Comfy Life, unlike the Exeter, it can be used in the car without worrying about it being damaged. The Comfy Life might sit a little bit higher, but it's the safest to use in a hot car. Let's try the purple cushion. Yeah, that's not, that's not really, I could never get this even to fit in my car. Definitely not designed for a car, I wouldn't think. They have cushions that are designed for a car. I don't think the Ultimate, which is what this one is, Ultimate is definitely too big for the car. And it can't be left in a hot car. None of the purple cushions can. So that's also a, a difficulty with that. As far as the hot car goes, it says that if it's above 105, it could permanently damage the seat cushion. So if you're using any of the purple cushions, you don't want to leave it in a hot car. Same with the, the egg sitter. So really, the Comfy Life is the only one that can be used in the heat of the summer. All right, it's been about a week since we all started using these three cushions. And here I'm ready to deliver the results. So what I'm gonna do is each one of us is gonna rank these cushions from first through third. The first one's gonna get three points, the second one two points, and the third one one point. We're gonna tally them up and see which one comes out on top. First up is my three choices. My number one pick is the Ultimate Purple Cushion. I found this to be very comfortable. I like the way that it's kind of two sections where it sinks part of the way down and then it doesn't continue sinking too much after that. It's large, so it doesn't really move around on my chair. I do like the Purple Cushion. Potential cons would be that it's kind of large. It doesn't fit well in all chairs and it's kind of large to be used in a car. And if you do use it in a car, you really can't have it in really high temperatures. But otherwise, I think it's a great cushion for a desk chair. It's my top choice. My second choice is the Comfy Life Cushion. Uh, th this is a little bit bigger than the Egg Sitter. I like the size of it as far as how it fits on a chair. It seems to be a, the best size for a particular chair. Um, the foam is kind of interesting because you sit on it and it sinks. It takes 20 seconds to sink all the way down into it. So I really like this one. I think that it feels a little bit too firm for my taste, but I do think that this is a solid one. And this is the only one of the three that can be used in a car in hot temperatures. Comfy Life is my second choice. And finally, number three is the Egg Sitter. Now, just because I ranked it third doesn't mean it's not a good cushion. To me, the biggest problem with this is that it is too small and it's, it moves around on my chair a lot. This also can't really be used in a hot car, so that's one disadvantage of this one. I think it's a solid cushion, but I just think the other two are a little bit better. So next up, my son Brandon also tried all three cushions for a couple days each, and let's see what he has to say. <laughs> What's up? All right, Brandon, so what is your top choice for the number one cushion of the three? Well, that's easily gonna be the purple cushion. Really? I sit on my desk all day, and I felt like, having sat in each of the three cushions, I felt like the purple cushion suited my needs the best. Uh, it fit perfectly in my chair, but I know the size would be a big problem for a lot of people. Right. But overall, it works great and it's very comfortable. All right, so what about your second choice? Well, that would have to be Comfy Life. I was really debating on this one, which one would be second and third, but I think Comfy Life has the slight edge over the Exeter just because of its size and the way right. that it's made. Uh, I really like the design in the back of the cushion for the tailbone, which mm -hmm. alleviates a lot of the pain that you're gonna have built up back there. Right. 
and uh, I thought the memory foam was really comfortable. Mm -hmm. It took about 10 to 15 seconds for it to sink That's down. what I said, too. It, it was, I, mean, to, I was thinking 20 seconds even. You feel yourself slowly sinking on that one. It's kind right. of interesting, yeah. And I think it's a perfect size cushion. Okay. How about number three? Number three, last but not least, would be the Exeter. It was still a great cushion, even though it's at the bottom of my list. And the reason it's at the bottom is really just because of the size. If it was any bigger, it probably would be on very even territory with the comfy life. But I feel like, you know, I'm a small guy, but someone bigger, they're not going to want to sit on a really small cushion. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it's interesting that he and I had the same results, but my daughter has a little bit different opinion on these cushions. Let me read you her notes. All right, so my again, my daughter's not here. She's at Comic-Con right now, but she did send me some notes. I'm going to read them to you, let you know what her order was. Her first choice was the comfy life. She said that she liked how it felt like a firm memory foam and she felt like there was a lot of support for her spine. She also said that it was the best fit for her chair. She said the only minor con is that there were moments where it felt a little less comfortable than she would have liked. Her second choice was the egg sitter. She said that the pros on that one were that it's small, comfortable, and better for her smaller body type. She said there weren't really any significant cons, but she did like the comfy life slightly better. Her least favorite was the purple cushion. She said that it could be comfortable when sitting at certain angles with it, but the biggest con was it was too big for her chair. And she also said that there was a noticeable smell coming from the material. I didn't notice the smell after I first got it, but she said that she could still smell it. In her opinion, the Comfy Life and the Exeter were a very close one and two. She said the purple was kind of a distant third. So there you go. Let's add up these scores and see which one comes out on top. All right, so when I add all of these up, the purple had a total of seven points. The Comfy Life had a total of seven points. And the egg sitter had a total of four points. There is the very high tech tally of the three cushions. And there you go. So it looks like it's a tie between the purple cushion and the comfy life. Now it should be pointed out that the price difference between the purple cushion and the comfy life is significant, about a hundred dollar difference. That can be something to weigh into your factor when deciding. I think they're very good cushions, but each person is going to have a very subjective opinion as based on the different results that we had here. Have you used any of these cushions? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.